Dogs with Chloe and on today's video we are going to go through five dog breeds that are hypoallergenic and great for families. Let's get into the video. So the first dog breed that I'm going to talk about is a Golden Doodle. I think it's a Golden Doodle. Yeah, Golden Doodle. Um, so that is a Golden Retriever slash a Poodle. Um, these are hypo hypoallergenic. Um, they are big dogs so please be aware of that. Um, they potentially might need clipping and also please look into any other health issues that this dog might have. Um, very unlikely because it will be a mixed breed um, but please check it out just in case. They are so easy to train, very family friendly, very kid friendly and um, also love to be around people. Um, they also really love to please um, but they can be a bit boisterous so keep them in check. So the next breed is a Cairn Terrier. Cairn Terriers are so intelligent and absolutely love to chase absolutely anything. And they are very keen diggers, so please be aware of this. They also enjoy a little swim here and there, but each dog is to their own. So your Cairn Terrier might not want to swim, but might want to paddle. Cairn Terriers also have a little bit of a stubborn streak, so please also be aware of that. Um, because that means they can be a little bit bullshy um, but they are the most gorgeous dogs and as I say very trainable which makes them great for families. A wire fox terrier is another great dog. These dogs will love to play fetch just like any terrier and they are hypoallergenic and they are so cute. Um, they are very trainable and very family friendly. Um, obviously all, all dogs are pretty family friendly if you bring them up right. So also please be aware of that. Um, but fox, wire fox terriers are absolutely gorgeous and so lovely. Apparently a Yorkshire Terrier is hypoallergenic, which I didn't know. Uh, Yorkshire Terriers can be long haired uh, like the show dogs or short haired like the um, pet dogs. Um, they are very small, so think about that. Um, they do have a bit of a yappy bark on them. So um, if you are not one for a yappy bark, then I wouldn't go for that. Um, they can be stubborn, so they are going to need a bit of a strong owner. Um, but they are great little family dogs and they are so cute and lovely. The next dog that I have got down is a Havanese. Havanese are so cute. They're very similar to a Bichon Frise um, and that type of breed. Um, they are a small size, very family and dog friendly. Um, they don't need bags of walking so that is a plus point if you are not a good like outing dog walkers but like to go out and about. Um, they are very easily to train um, and um, will always enjoy to be around your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you are new here please think about subscribing because I post videos just like this one on anything to do with dogs. Also um, if you've got any questions to do with dogs please leave that in the comment section down below and I'll give it a go at answering it. Can't promise but there we go. Um, I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.